Okay, today um, in this video we're going to talk about interval notation. Uh, this is found in Appendix 9 in your textbook. Um, we're going to talk about how these four things are related. How do we write or how do we graph interval notation? How do we write it in actual interval notation? How do we write it in inequality notation? How it's written down and how we say it verbally. So we're going to do these four things um, and relate those four things together in this video. So we're going to start off with graphically. So graphically, um, that will occur when you see a number line. So graphically, we have some examples here of interval, interval notation. Um, this bracket means that it is closed, whereas this parentheses means that it is open. This is an interval between negative 1 and 2, so it's going to be um, it's going to be greater than negative 1 and less than 2. So that's how it's said in words. It's all values of the number. We can use a variable x that is greater than or equal to negative 1 and less than 2. Um, so we write that in interval notation just as we see it here. We put a bracket um, at the negative 1, that's the smaller value, comma, we're going up to 2 with an open bracket. So this is um, the interval notation. For this graph, that's how we would write it in interval notation. Um, if we were going to write it in um, inequality notation, inequality notation, So inequality notation, we would start off with the negative 1. We say it's going to be less than or equal to some x value, and it's also going to be less than 2. So this would be the inequality notation for that problem. So there's the graph, there's the interval to notation, and the inequality notation for that first example. Okay, let's continue on with the second example. Second example looks like we're moving on. Oh, we don't have a... We have an infinite uh, type going out to infinity, where we have this arrow written out here. So in this one, the interval notation is going to look like we're going to start at negative 3, and it's closed there, but we're going out to positive infinity. And we always use an open bracket on an infinity. So this would be my interval notation for that um, example. Whereas now the um, inequality notation is just going to say x is greater than or equal to negative 3. So that's the inequality notation for example 2. So we start at negative 3, it's closed, we move on to infinity. We always, in interval notation, we always put the smaller one on the left and the larger one on the right of the interval. And let's go down to example 3. Example 3 here. Okay, this is a closed interval between 1 and 4, so we're going to have closed brackets on either side for interval notation. We're going to start at 1, we're going to go to 4. It's closed on both sides, so that's my interval notation for it. Uh, when we write it in inequality notation, we're going to start at 1 again. We're going to say that's less than or equal to some x value. It's also less than or equal to 4, so it's everything in between 1 and 4, including 1 and 4. Okay, so that's how you would relate your graph to, to um, in interval notation and to inequality notation. All right, let's move on to starting with the interval notation and see if we can do the other stuff. So on interval notation, this first example I have here it looks like an ordered pair, but it's actually an interval notation. Um, the way you're going to see that difference is they're going to say, um, this is interval notation. They'll note that in the book. If not, that it's going to be also look like an ordered pair. So they'll say ordered pair. So they'll tell you whether it's an ordered pair or interval notation. In this one, we have it open on both sides. So the graph will look like uh, this. We have a graphing number line. We're going to start down here at negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, and 1. It's an open bracket, so 
we're going to have a, a parentheses at negative 3, and we're going to have a parentheses or an open bracket at 1. It's going to be everything in between, so that's going to be what the graph is going to look like. Okay, so the graph looks like that. The inequality for this one is going to be negative 3 is less than x is less than 1. Because it's open, it's not going to have an equal sign on either one of these. So this is going to be meaning that it's open on both sides. So that's what the arrows represent, that it's open. So on the second example, um, we have a half open or half closed bracket. So the graph for that one is going to look similar to number first example, but it's all, one of the brackets is going to be closed at 1. So we start down here at 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so here's 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Our interval notation or our graph of our interval notation will look like this, closed bracket here, open bracket there, everything in between is what we shade. Our inequality notation for this is going to be 1 is less than or equal to x is less than or less than 5. Because we have an equal sign here because it's closed. So we put an equal sign on that one. Okay, moving on to my third example. This is one of those that has a, a third and fourth examples have infinity in them. Bracket, so that means the graph is going to go forever to the right or left. In this case, it's going to negative infinity, so it's going to travel to the left on the number line. So if we put 3 down here, 2, 1, 0, negative 1, negative 2, this graph is going to have a closed spot at 3, and then it's going to run to the left to negative infinity. So we shade in the arrow there. So that's the graph of the, from here, basically we're saying it's less than or equal to, x is less than or equal to 3. That's our um, inequality notation. So there's the inequality, that's the graph. And the fourth example is just the reverse of that. So when we do this one, we're going to start at uh, 1. and go to infinity, so our graph is going to start at 1, it's open there, so it's going to have a bracket that's open, it's going to travel out to infinity to the right, so we have an arrow there. So on this one we're going to say x is greater than 1. So that's starting with interval notation or writing a graph and inequality notation. Now the last thing here is when we do uh, inequality notation. So if we're going to do inequality notation and we're going to write that as set builder notation, the only thing we need to do here is add a set um, building notation. All we do is write a set as x, um, all x's such that then we write down our interval here, x, uh, x, our x is greater than or equal to 0 and less than 5. So this is the set builder notation. And we have x, or set of all x's such that this is our interval. Okay, and this is how we would write it in um, set builder notation from the inequality. So the inequality is part of set builder notation. So all we would do is add our x, our, our set of all x's such that, and then we write our inequality in our set. So that's how we would write set builder notation. Okay, so that's the second example. This one also is the set of all x's such that negative 2 is less than x is less than 1. And that's how we write in set builder notation. Okay, that's um, interval notation, section 8.9. If you have any questions, you can send me an email. Uh, look through the sections in the book. Um, um, good luck.